If you're here, it's probably because you've recognized the need for a more recent auto it tutorial and decided to watch this one instead. The majority of the tutorials that can be found on YouTube are older than five years and may not cover all of the most recent additions to auto it or developments in the software. That is why I've decided to make a newer tutorial that covers everything that AutoIt offers. Hello and welcome to the AutoIt tutorial series. In this series, we will be covering all the essentials of AutoIt, a powerful scripting language for automating Windows tasks. Over the course of the next few weeks, we will be posting a video every Saturday and Sunday, covering various topics related to AutoIt. You can find all the videos in the playlist provided. In this series, we will be covering the following topics. Introduction to AutoIt. Installing AutoIt. Writing your first AutoIt script. Variables and data types in AutoIt, operators and math, conditional statements, loops and object statements, functions and procedures in AutoIt, comments, strings, encodings, and directives, control IDs and handles, UI creation, and finally, we will cover some of the popular user-defined functions. With this comprehensive guide, you'll be able to automate Windows tasks and increase your productivity. During the course of this tutorial series, we will go over the first three topics on the playlist. These topics include an introduction to AutoIt, installing AutoIt, and writing your first AutoIt script. In this lesson, we will delve into the fundamentals of AutoIt and investigate its functionalities so that you can obtain a solid comprehension of this robust scripting language and begin implementing it for your own projects. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get started and find out more about AutoIt. AutoIt is a flexible scripting language that can be utilized for a variety of different purposes. It is especially helpful for automating tasks in Windows, and it is frequently used for creating tools and applications that simplify complex processes. You can write scripts with AutoIt that perform repetitive tasks, simulate keystrokes and mouse clicks, and even create graphical user interfaces (UIs) for your programs. MyBot Run, which is an automation tool for the widely popular mobile game Clash of Clans, is one of the most well-known applications that have been created with AutoIt. This tool utilizes AutoIt scripts to automate various tasks within the game, providing players with a significant advantage by enabling them to play the game in a manner that is both more efficient and effective. The widespread adoption of this instrument exemplifies the adaptability of AutoIt and demonstrates the software's capacity to be implemented in a wide variety of contexts. AutoIt is not only helpful for automating tasks, but it is also a scripting language that is simple to learn and friendly to users. AutoIt provides the power and versatility you require to complete the task at hand, regardless of the level of experience you bring to the table as a user. AutoIt's extensive feature set makes it capable of performing a wide variety of tasks, from the most basic to the most complex applications. In order to take advantage of all that AutoIt has to offer, it is important that you have it installed on your Windows machine. Fortunately, the installation process is very simple and can be completed in just a few steps. By following this guide, you'll be up and running with AutoIt in no time. First, go to the AutoIt website at www.autoitscript.com. This is the official website for AutoIt, and it is where you will find all the information and resources you need to get started. On the homepage, you will see a button that reads AutoIt. Click on it, then click on the Download button. Once you have clicked on the Download button, you will be directed to a page where you can download the latest version of AutoIt. Make sure to download the correct version for your operating system. After the download is complete, find the installation file on your computer and run it. The installation process for AutoIt is very straightforward and involves a few simple steps. You will be prompted with a series of on-screen instructions that you will need to follow in order to complete the installation. Be sure to read each step carefully and follow the instructions as directed. In some situations, you may be asked to choose where you want AutoIt to be installed. It is recommended that you use the default destination folder, but you can choose a different folder if you want to. Finally, the installation process will be complete and you will be able to use AutoIt on your Windows machine. You will now be able to write scripts, automate tasks, and take advantage of all that AutoIt has to offer. With AutoIt installed on your machine, you are ready to start exploring its capabilities and discovering how it can help you automate tasks and simplify tasks. Go to your desktop and right-click. From the options, click on New and then choose Folder. Name the new folder AutoIt. This will be the folder where you will store all of your AutoIt scripts. Open the newly created folder and right-click then select New. From the options, choose AutoIt script. Rename the newly created file as example.au3. This is the name of your very first AutoIt script. Right-click on the new example.au3 file and select Show More, then click on Edit Script. A new site editor window will pop up. This is where you will write your script. Now that you have AutoIt installed on your Windows machine, it's time to start writing your first AutoIt script. Let us now write a simple automation that opens Notepad, types a message, waits for three seconds, closes Notepad, and then closes the application using a keyboard shortcut. 
The script uses functions such as run, win wait, active, win move, send, sleep, and win close to perform these actions. The code is a simple example of how auto it can be used to automate tasks in Windows. It shows how the functions in auto it can be used to open an application, wait for it to be active, move its window, type a message, wait for a specified amount of time, close the window, and send keyboard shortcuts. The code shows how powerful and versatile auto it is when it comes to automating tasks in a Windows environment. This is just a simple example of the many tasks you can automate with AutoIt. With its powerful functions and flexible syntax, Auto is capable of automating a wide range of tasks and processes. In future videos, we will explore more advanced features and techniques for using AutoIt. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.